My name is Jacob, and I'm part of the Canadian Conservation Corps, a group of young Canadians who are dedicated to preserving and protecting nature. Today, I want to take a moment to bring to light some of the important conservation issues that are near and dear to me. I took a walk in one of my local parks to see what nature had to offer. A local park in a city may not scream biodiversity, but you'd be surprised what you can find in your own backyard. Many parks, even those located within cities, are teeming with life. Common species like green frogs, American toads, garter snakes, and all manner of birds and bugs can be found almost anywhere. This does not, however, mean they're thriving or at all living in natural or ideal conditions. These common species are the exception. Many other species find it extremely difficult to live within proximity of humans. The area I'm in right now, it may seem a little unassuming, desolate, but in fact, what we've stumbled upon here is a, a bit of a grave site. All around me here are the remains of old turtle nests and many, many shells that never actually made it to maturity. The unfortunate reality is that less than 1 in 100 turtles reach maturity. Uh, this is due to many factors, high predation rates, habitat loss, and of course, climate change. Turtles are one of Ontario's most at-risk species. Every species of turtle residing in Ontario are facing an uphill battle. Their own evolution and long life betray them, as the world around them rapidly advances faster than they can evolve. Habitat destruction is an important factor here. The reality is that most of the wetlands that turtles depend upon simply no longer exist due to urban development. And of the few that remain, many have roads built through them. These roads cause staggering numbers of road mortality. Turtles also rely on consistent temperatures to balance the number of males to females, as temperature is the main determining factor of gender during the incubation process. Significant alterations to the temperature due to climate change are posing a serious risk to the genetic diversity within turtles. Now this area we're in right now, this is something called a vernal pool. Uh, vernal pools are small temporary bodies of water. They spring up in the spring, uh, where it was actually much larger just a couple weeks ago. Everywhere I was standing would have been water. Now these are perfect breeding environments for amphibians. This is where they'll lay their eggs and this is where the eggs will reach maturity in safety from predators because these temporary pools don't have predators like fish in them. Um, and these are home to all kinds of amphibians, including this little American toad. Cute little guy. I'm surrounded here by a very special plant called a milkweed. Milkweed are home to a very special species, the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterflies have a natural immunity to the toxins of milkweed. So they use that to their advantage by laying their eggs under the plant and then the caterpillars feed on the milkweed. Now this also protects them from predators because predators can't eat the caterpillars without feeling the effects of the toxin. Now that doesn't mean they get a free pass, there are many other species that have adapted specifically to the toxins so that they can eat the caterpillars as well. Now, unfortunately, that's far from the only threats the monarchs face. Like so many other species, monarchs are affected disproportionately by climate change and urban development. Climate change affects temperature, which is an extremely important factor to prompt reproduction, migration, and hibernation for monarchs. Climate change's alterations to the temperature are having devastating effects on the monarch species. Urban development, on the other hand, is responsible for the degradation and outright destruction of many crucial monarch habitats. Pesticides are a major contributing factor here. As the name suggests, milkweed is in fact a weed. Because of this, the plant is targeted by pesticide use by both unaware gardeners and on a larger scale, entire municipalities. While there's certainly no denying that conservation is an uphill battle, 
but it's still one that's worth fighting for with everything we've got. The species you've seen today are all at risk, whether the risk is imminent or inevitable. We have a responsibility to protect and preserve the nature which we all reside within. This is not a fight for one single species, but every species, from the smallest weed to the largest mammals. All life is worth preserving. Linked below are resources and info that will help you make a difference in your own community. If you need a little motivation to get outdoors, leave a like and a comment on the video below for a chance to win a $100 mech gift card. Thank you for joining me.